guys, so today I'm going to give you some tips for looking good in photos. And I know this video is a little bit different, um, but I get a lot of requests for this. And it's not like on a certain video everyone requests it or, you know, that a ton of people request it every day. But it's over time, just a lot of people do and it comes up. Um, and I thought, you know, spring is here. There's probably going to be weddings or photos or school dances or things like that. So I was thinking, should I actually get up and show you guys how to pose? Like, because I'm a model, I could pose for you guys and try to help you. Or would you rather I just give you tips? Um, so I'll be honest, I took the lazy way out. I'm just going to give you a couple of tips. But if you would like another video where I show you full on what you can do, um, let me know and I can try to help you with that as well. But these are just going to be a couple of my tips that I've learned, um, over the years, a little bit through modeling, a little bit just through trial and error, um, that are for general people to just generally look better in photos when you're either taking them yourself or they're being taken by someone else. The first one is like avoiding a double chin. Even if you don't have a double chin, you can like give yourself one if the photo isn't taken properly. So the best way to kind of avoid that is to kind of point your chin down um, and have the camera at eye level or above. So if you're taking it yourself, you want to kind of hold it above like the, uh, what is it, the glory shot. Or if someone else is taking it, you want to kind of tilt your chin down um, and try to, you know, have them be at eye level. And don't go like this because that's going to look really weird. But just a slight tilt, it looks better than that. <laughs> See what I mean? Um... So that's just one tip, and guys, practice all this in the mirror, it's going to make all the difference. Two is either to lose weight or to contour, and if you're already a good weight, then don't worry about it. Um, if you have a New Year's resolution to lose weight, or if you do feel like you could shed a few, try it. Um, just exercise a little bit more, do something else, because like one pound in real life looks like three pounds on photos, which means if you gain a pound, you'll look like you're three pounds heavier. If you lose a pound, you'll look like you're three pounds slimmer. Um, as compared to photos back to back. So keep that in mind. Um, if you guys don't need to, then don't. Um, but also, if you need to, you can contour if you don't have time to lose weight and you're, you know, you have to take a photo. Don't go overboard with it because then it's going to be really noticeable. But if you just slightly contour right here at your jawline, um, I'm sorry, below your cheekbones and a little bit at your jawline and maybe a little bit um, around your collarbones, it'll give you a more physique and sleek look. Um, and I don't have any contour on today, but if you guys want to go look at a video that I do have contour on, you'll notice it looks a little bit more chiseled. Um, just the little, little shadow makes the most difference. Um, so that may be a good tip, just either before photos or, you know, something you can do to prepare. The third thing is having a shiny face. No shiny face! <laughs> um, and as a person with oily skin and a model, I know this is very, very hard to combat. What I actually do is just pat a little bit of powder onto my forehead. Um, translucent powder works best. You don't want to, like, cake makeup on before for a photo because then you look cakey, but you want to make sure just to check your shine before you let someone else take a photo of you or before you take one yourself. Um, I really like finishing powders, whether it's a Fix Plus spray, Urban Decay has a Fix Plus. You could use like a Derma Blend powder or a Makeup Forever sheer translucent setting powder. Um, you could blot, but sometimes that takes off color in some situations like I've had. Um, just recently I purchased a little Temp2 duster, which I'm not even going to use with the Temp2 system, but I'm going to use the duster maybe for photos because it's like pocket size. Um, but just little things like that to kind of mattify your face is better than being really shiny. And if you don't have anything on hand, the best thing you could do is take a tissue paper and just ever so gently hold it against either your forehead or wherever you're shiny or your nose. And really try not to mess up any makeup, but just don't, don't press it either. Don't press or pat, just kind of hold it like this. Here's a paper. Don't like press, but just go like this. And then you can take off a little bit of that oil. Another one is to stay away from shadows. What's happening is like, let's say that we're having a photo taken and, well, it's not going to work now, but let's say I have a shadow on my face right here. Does that, can you guys see that there's like a shadow there? It's going to look really weird. When we're all in the light, it looks better. So I'm not saying stand in the blaring light because if you stand in the blaring light, it's going to create shadows. If you stand like right in the middle of the sun, the sun's going to come down, going to hit your eyes right here and like create a dark shadow. The best thing to do would be to stand in a shadowed area, like under a hallway, but facing the sun. Um, how would I explain that? Like if you're at a school, if you stand in the hall so that you're not in the blaring sun, but you're looking out into the sun, because the sun is coming down, it's reflecting off the pavement and onto your skin. That's kind of how photo shoots work. They don't just take photos like up in your face, because that would give you really harsh shadows. And they don't have lights right above your head unless it's special lighting, because that would cast really dark shadows on your face. What they do, 
is they have things called reflectors. They're these big, white, almost like umbrella things that cast light directly and evenly to all parts of your face so you don't have these shadows and you don't end up looking really funky. The other thing is that if you know that you're going to be in a photo, try to choose flattering clothes. Even if you love that pair of designer jeans but they're just a little bit too tight for you and you know you kind of got some bullets there, just skip them for the photo because in the photo people will be looking at you, not necessarily what you're wearing. Choose colors that work for you. Um, if you need to, you can even use body shapers or corsets if you're doing more of a figure look. Um, but just choose clothes that suit your style, suit your personality, and suit you because if it's a size too large or a size too small, it will be forever captured on photo and even if it's a brand name or something you love or it's so cute don't do it because you're gonna look uh, you're gonna look a hundred times better in the little black dress that fits perfectly rather than that trendy designer thing that doesn't fit quite right the other thing is makeup and you can take photos without makeup you guys know that I'm totally not against that I take photos without makeup all the time um, but if you guys have the option do choose makeup and choose makeup that's a little bit darker if you know you're gonna be on photo you do want to focus a little bit more on staying mattified again not being shiny a little bit more on the blush than you normally would today I have a very sheer blush on you could go a little bit more, a little bit darker if you're going to be on photo. You could also do a little bit more contour when you're going to be on photo. And you may want to do a little bit darker mascara or false lashes or even a really um, thick black liner just on top. Not on bottom because then you might look a little bit different. Um, but if you need bottom instead of doing liner, you could also just do the baby lashes. Um, but you want to try, if you know you're going to be on film and there's going to be flash, you may want to try to go a little bit darker, um, but just blend it perfectly so it's, it's dark but it's still blended, um, so that way you guys can look really, really awesome. Something else is practicing, and as a model, I can't stress this enough. Practice is what makes absolutely perfect. Go into a mirror and... You know, practice. What What's my right good side? What's my good angle? For instance, I like this side of my face better. I don't care for this side. Because when I go from this side, I have like a wonky eye. And then my eye, like I have like a really big under eye bag. And it just doesn't look as good as when I smile like this. So that's my angle. Go see what looks good for you. Also, what kind of smile looks good on you? Probably not. You could just try to work with your body and see. Is it better when my, my chest is square? Do I like it when I'm off to the side? Do I like it when I'm to the other side? What looks better? Um, same with hair. How does hair frame your face? So practice, 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 practice. Um, also, if you get a photo camera, you can take them yourself and see how you photograph best. Because photographs are different than mirrors. So those are my tips and tricks for looking good in photos. If you guys want actual poses, like things like that. I can try if you want them. Let me know what you guys want though. Just let me know. And I hope that you really found this informative and helpful. I hope that if you guys can use it, then let me know. If you guys know of other tricks or tips on looking great in photos, be sure to let us all know. Um, just post in the comments so that we can all share. And I am so excited. I hope that you guys like this and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.